Hi, right, welcome to another episode of E-Bike Insights from the Electric Bike Company. We get asked all the time, what is the difference or why should I have a single speed compared to a seven speed drivetrain? So the real difference is, it all depends on really your terrain and particularly the power output of your motor. So really if your, power, if, if your motor has enough output to be able to get you up any hills or to get you the acceleration that you would like well then a single drivetrain is fine because then you can have your throttle ability of from zero percent to a hundred percent so you've got all the differences in between there so you can pedal as much as you like and if you want your throttle you can just put a little bit and you also have five levels of assist so 20 percent is level one 40 percent 80 60 percent 80 percent 100 percent and that's of the power output of the motor now, typical motors are regulated or, or rated according to a certain wattage. And as we, we all know by now from the previous episodes, is a watt is really it's a volt times an amp, which gives you the output that is going to be delivered to your motor. So the rating of your motor is actually almost irrelevant. It's really what, what's relevant when it comes to power output is what voltage is your, is your battery and what is the amperage of your controller. In our model CNSs, that's the, 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 the controller's 26 amps it can deliver almost 1300 watts of power. And on the Model S and Model C, and uh, yeah, will be about it's a 20 amp controller, so it's a thousand watts of power. Now, if you've got that kind of power behind you, you can just set your throttle how much assist you want, or you can put your pedal assist on, or you can actually have both. So, a single drivetrain is really what that means is the back of the cog is just one of these, or the back of the bike is one of these cogs. So we have a choice really of a 16 tooth or 18 tooth depending on your terrain. But that's the, that's the, that's the single speed there. And then of course what you have is you have the front of the bike which is the chain ring and the chain goes around there and you can see that's a single speed drive train. So that kind of explains a single speed. If you want the seven speed, what we do is we take this off and we simply add a seven speed sprocket so as you can see the seven speeds across there and now with your your shifter on the front and you have a derailleur which is over here we've got an altus which is sort of middle of the range but it's you know you have the derailleur underneath the the cog and then you have your shifter on the top and now what you have, you have a seven speed drive train, which really just means that when you pedal, you've got a choice of all seven speeds. Now, we feel at an electric bike company that that's a little bit of overkill in most situations because you've got a really powerful motor, you've got the opportunity to use a throttle, you've got pedal assist five levels. So really a single speed drive train should be okay. But some people kind of prefer to have the option of the seven speed and we can add that. It's not a really big cost for us. So if you like that, you can we can add it. Now, you know, where's the benefits and, and where are the, the negative parts? Well, the benefits of a single speed drivetrain are actually quite significant. And the most, the biggest reason uh, to go for single speed is because it's a direct drive, so it's only one speed and a chain ring, because it's direct, there's very little chance of a chain ever coming off. So, you know, that's quite a big deal, particularly with people that are not mechanically minded. They don't want their chain to come off. They realize that if it was a hugest hill, I might want to, you know, have a, have, you know, a mechanical gears to lower my mechanical um, pedaling. And if the motor really is at its complete max, I might want to get those lower gears, but that's only sort of 1% of my riding. So I'm going to take that chance and I'm going to go for a single speed drive train because the chain never comes off. The other thing, as, as you'll notice, on a seven speed, you've got a, de you've got a derailleur. And inside here, there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of just little, you know, um, bearings and all kinds of funny things. Plus, you've got a cable. And then you've also got the shifter on the front. And yeah, the shifter on the front can also be, there's a lot of moving parts in that. So there's a lot of maintenance. Over time, we've built our bikes to last for a really long time. So over time, all those maintenance parts can become, you know, costly. And, you know, you just got to keep up, up with it. And anybody that's ridden a regular bike with mechanical gears knows that, that 95, 98% of all your your maintenance costs come from the gears and setting up the gears right and making sure the cables are taught correctly. So 
so so the benefit again on a single speed drive train direct doesn't have all the all the you know the cables and all the other thing and then you've got an internally geared motor which doesn't get exposed to the elements and will then change gears or you know you'll have different levels to get you up and down hills and to get you accelerating now the and of course the maintenance cost of uh, there's zero maintenance cost now what's the benefit of seven speed well that's the nice thing is you can then if you really want to ride our bikes like a regular bike then you've got the ability to be able to to you know change gears from first gear second third fourth fifth and in without using any uh electrical you know assistance but yeah and i suppose for you know for if, if you want to see it more as a bicycle then perhaps that's an option for you and if you have really, really steep hills right at the last bit of your ride and you really want to shift all the way down, that with a single speed drive train, you're not getting that really, really low gear. Well, then put on the seven speed and that's going to get you up that last little bit of the hill if, if that's in the terrain that you live in. So, yeah, so there's benefits to both single and seven speed. Totally up to you. We can add it and we can take it off or you can get a bike shop to add it for you it only costs around about a hundred dollars the parts are only half that and then the rest is labor just right running the, the cabling through and totally a decision up to you hopefully that answers your question thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time